Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, I want to show you how you can disable the Windows Defender in Windows 11 Home. If you have the Pro version of Windows, there's another tutorial here, which you can do. It's a little bit more easier to do because you have the Group Policy Editor in Windows 11 Pro and you have don't have to do so much editing, the, rest, the registry editing, like in Windows 11 Home. Okay, everything I will describe in this video is also in this blog post here. I will put the link in the video description. Okay, the Windows Defender is active by default if you don't have a third party antivirus like Norton or F-Secure or whatever. And in the task manager, you can see this task here, anti-malware service executable. And as you can see, it consumes up a little bit of your CPU because in the background, it checks your system uh, for viruses, malware, for example, if you download a file from the internet, it's automatically checked in the background. So in general, it's a good idea to have the thing active and you should all, all only deactivate it um, when you are very sure what you are doing and you have to be careful because after that tutorial you don't have any antivirus protection on your system. Okay, let's get started. The first thing we need to do is to deactivate the tamper protection. We have to go to the settings of Windows and we have to go to privacy and security here and then to Windows Security and then another button here, open Windows Security. Here we go. And now we go to Virus and Threat Protection and then we can click on Manage Settings here in order to change the antivirus settings. The first thing you can do is deactivate the real-time protection. This is a short-term solution. If you just want to test something, if the performance isn't good enough, you can disable the real-time protection, the Defender here for a short period of time, because it tells you here after a short time before it turns back automatically. If you deactivate it here, it will automatically get reactivated after some time. Okay, for a more permanent solution, uh, we have to deactivate the temper protection first. Make sure that this is off because if we don't have uh, the temper protection off, it will um, undo all the changes we do next to the registry. Okay, we can close that now. We can also close the task manager and also the settings. And the next thing we want to do is open the registry. Open the registry editor via the start menu, just type rec edit in there. And now we have to navigate to a special key. And the easiest way is to just copy it from our homepage. It's hey key local machine software policies, Microsoft Windows Defender. Okay, I copy that and I will paste it in here with control V. Hit enter and here we go. Windows Defender, we have to end up in this folder slash key here. And now we have to create a new divert value with the following name, disable anti-spyware. I also copy that from here and right click here, new divert value. And then just paste, dis paste disable anti-spyware here. And important, double click and set value to one. Should look like that. Okay, the next thing we need to do is to create a new key here in Windows Defender. That's the following name, real-time protection. Copy that. Right click here on Windows Defender, new key, paste real-time protection. Make sure you have the correct typo here, a real-time protection, um, otherwise it won't work. Okay, new. Divot value, we have to create three values here. Uh, the first one is disable behavior monitoring. Oops, right click, copy, ah. copy. And okay, I have to delete that again. Okay, new divot value. Here we go, disable behavior monitoring. Disable on access protection, copy. New divot value, 
paste and the third value disable scan on real time enable so it's best to copy so you don't have any typos in it and after you have created all the three registry keys here set all values to one here, you, here we go and it should, should look like that and after you've done that well we are finished and now we have to restart the computer okay i have restarted the computer and i have already opened the task manager and as you can see here the process anti-malware service executable it's still there and most people think if you deactivate uh, the windows defender this background process should be gone but not, that's not the case uh, the process will will be there however as you can see it stays at zero percent and the memory usage is down to 1.1 megabytes and if we have a look how it looked before and as you can see it used cpu and also used a lot of more of our ram and so we have deactivated the windows defender real-time protection so it no longer takes up resources on our computer and if we look into the privacy and the windows security section of our computer it should now tell us that the virus protection is disabled however in some cases um, i ran into um, the case that okay here we go um, no antivirus active antivirus provider your device is vulnerable okay um, so it's really disabled okay if this process still consumes cpu and also uses ram then double check the registry go to the registry check if the keys are still there and in some cases the key was automatically deleted by windows especially if you haven't deactivated the temporal protection because that's what the temporal protection does it checks the registry for tampering and if its process is still running double check the registry if the keys are there okay in order to re-enable the virus protection the windows defender well just delete the registry keys we have created here in this video restart your computer and the windows defender is running again okay well that's it goodbye